Hi, I'm Tony Poulos and I'm at Mobile World Congress. Today, on my journey of discovery, I've ended up with Lance Uehara, who is the Director of Product Management at VMware, now by Broadcom, yes. and Pablo Oliver, who is the Open RAN Project Manager at Vodafone. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Let me kick off firstly. I'm going to ask you, Pablo, let's sure. talk about network programmability uh -huh. and network exposure from a general conceptual viewpoint. How do they relate to each other and why does that actually matter? Yeah, so I think that maybe in the past, the concept of uh, APIs and the run, it was not really related, you know, but right now it's like a brand new way of working. So the capability that the API has to expose information that the run is able to uh, give to them is really key for us. So, yeah, I think that uh, I'm more focused on the run part. You know, I'm not such a developer, I would say, but we, I think we have found the right balance between the two. We are now able to kind of work with the industry that is on the top level, and that was not only by the smart connectivity API that we developed at Vodafone, but also by the run intelligent controller that VMware is yeah, helping us with in this, in this collaboration. Well, let me hear a bit more about that, Lance. You know, in terms of the programmability and exposure, it's really giving the control and uh, management back to customers like Vodafone, where they can offer not just for themselves to program the RAM, but to their customers and their app developers. So it's about giving more control, uh, giving more management control, observability to these app developers as well as the customers themselves. So Pablo, the demo you're presenting here in collaboration with uh, VMware is a very interesting and powerful use case of the network programmability and network exposure that we talked about briefly. Yeah. But could you also describe the use case and the role played by the Vodafone network APIs. Sure, so I can imagine that you are a consumer of social networks. Yes. So I don't know if you know that 90% of the traffic of the social network is about short form videos. So you know those from TikTok, Instagram, that maybe your kids or I know that my cousins are consuming all day, the day around. And the thing is that the content provider doesn't know what is happening in our set. And that is not really good because they are sending tons of information to the users, not only the actual video that the user is consuming, but much more information in the background just for the user to be ready to keep continue, uh, continuing consuming that, you know? But the thing is that 20% of that traffic that is flowing in our network is never consumed by the user. You know why? Because in the cell edge with bad coverage and, you know, yeah. the spectrum is not unlimited. Sometimes you are not able to consume 4K videos, no matter if it is five seconds or one hour. The thing is that when you are in a bad situation, you won't be waiting for 30 seconds to consume a 10 second one, you know? So we have developed a brand new API in the uh, network as a platform team from Vodafone. So it's the smart connectivity API that is able to abstract information from the network, real-time information with the D-read, the distributed read, that is the near RT read from the Oran architecture. And that way we can expose information, never raw data, because you know the user is the more important one for us. So we are strategy information, we inform the content provider, and that way they are able to adapt quickly to what is happening to the network. So, I, I think you should uh, see the demo later and you can see how everything is stalling when the load of the cell is really high, the cell is congested, but thanks to our solution, we are able to, in a trade-off, maybe downgrade a little bit the resolution on the video, maybe add that, compress the video, but you can see that everybody will keep con consuming the video in a very smooth way. Would you like to add to that, Lance? Well, I can add that um, in terms of what, you know, the the APIs are doing, it's very important because there's never been the ability to expose that information to these applications before. So all this information that's being captured and generated in the RAN can now be exposed to these over-the-top applications like TikTok. But do the content providers really care if they're flooding the, the network with short videos? Well, the thing is that the benefit is not only for us and for the user, because you know that they had this kind of engagement KPIs, this metric that do you think they like when the user is struggling and remains only 10 seconds in the app? Yeah. 
I can assure you that they will close the app and they might look for another content provider. Ah, so this is helping everybody across yeah. the board. We, yeah. we are starting to think about like win, win, win. So we win for the user. It's a win for us. We are not going to do something that is not benefiting us also. But also we truly believe that with a collaboration with the content provider, they will win too. It makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, our industry sense doesn't always work out. Yeah. <laughs> but Lance, can you elaborate more on the role that VMware RAN provides in terms of the RAN intelligent controller, or the RIC as you call it, I know, and the program, its programmability and exposure? What's affected? How does that work? Glad to, glad you asked that. So with the VMware RAN Intelligent Controller, the one that we're specifically using for this demonstration is our near real-time RAN Intelligent Controller. And that provides um, fine time grain metrics and also very quick control loop timing. So we can provide um, user-specific, subscriber-specific metrics very quickly for these short-form videos. Because as Pablo was saying, once the user gets that spinning wheel of death, they're gonna opt out, uh, swipe past that video. Right, and so by getting these quick uh, metrics and quick time control loops, we can provide that to the API layer. And then the API layer provides those metrics. And metrics we use are things like uh, throughput, uh, network congestion, things that then these applications can use to adjust their uh, prefetch, their uh, buffering, uh, their codecs. And so giving their user a much better experience. I think it's a fantastic uh, invention, yeah, for, for want yeah. of a better word. We're yeah, very yeah, proud. Yeah, yeah. We are trying to do so, yeah. Because I know, I as soon as I get that spinning wheel, I'm off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, presume yeah. everyone's exactly you the same. Not, you can't, I'm not, I'm not abnormal. Yeah. I'm not abnormal. <laughs> you are imp an impatient one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pablo, Lance, thank you very much for spending time with me today. You're very welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.